Hi Virgo, welcome back to Dream Tarot. I'm here to do your quick reading. I am on vacation guys, okay? So just keep that in mind. Um, and these will be short readings. So let's just see anything significant that needs to come out for you. Anything you could expect soon. If you're new here and you haven't watched my All Signs reading I did yesterday, you may want to go watch that. The timestamps will be in the comment section down below. Not of this video, the one that I did yesterday. All right, so let's see. Anything for my Virgos? Anything specific for my Virgos, please? Strength card, okay. You're holding back from something or you're holding back from saying something or doing something because you feel like you don't want to act in that way, but something's really hard to hold back from. You had a queen of swords. So you want to curse somebody out, Virgo? Why? Okay, let's just get one more card. We'll clarify. So Virgo's holding back from choking a bitch or... Yeah, this is your energy, the hermit card. Okay, so someone is making you upset, Virgo. Instead of voicing your opinion, you're going to just ghost them or stop speaking to them completely. Now, the reason that you're choosing to take this route is because if you say something, you might hurt this person's feelings. Even though you really don't care, you don't care because they hurt your feelings, but you'd rather just not be or act that way. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Give me the strength card, please. Give me the strength card for my verbs. Strength card for my Virgo. Sorry if the table's rocking. This is like, I'm doing a makeshift table because it's too hot outside to film. So excuse me, okay? All right, so let's see. And I do have a top on, by the way. So, because some of y'all's comments yesterday was so crazy. All right, so strength card, please. Strength card. Strength card. Okay. Ten of Cups, Ace of Swords. Okay. All right, I'm not going to say who, but either you or this person are hearing something from someone that you really love that you don't want to hear. This is equivalent to dating someone and your significant other telling you some truth, okay, or their truth or how they perceive things, but it hurts your feelings, but it's like they're keeping it real. Or this could be you, but you're choosing not to do it. Or like my mom's in the back. Or someone's choosing not to do it towards you what's the let's say it's the swords all right we have the three of wands here so it's kind of like hmm what is this okay the queen of wands is here as well is someone saying something about your looks virgo or you're telling someone about their looks or someone's telling you like you need to improve your looks three of wands or you're telling this to someone, but someone said it very rudely. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. What's the Queen of Swords? Oops. You had a Justice card in reverse. So you're like, okay, I'm not gonna, okay. This is giving me like, someone's telling you about your looks, the Queen of Wands, but it's like, they can't, sp <laughs> they have no business telling you, okay? Because if you were to counteract, like someone's telling you something that they could have kept to themselves, like an opinion, they could have kept it to themselves and it's like okay if i tell you about yourself you, i'm really gonna go there but let me just be nicer okay so what is this and this is sad because this could be like your significant other or your partner the two of cups king of cups here so definitely be a pisces cancer scorpio telling you or someone's trying to say that they're saying this out of love but it's not it's like a backhanded compliment or it's like a backhanded comment towards your looks what's the justice card in reverse i think it's it's coming off very rude Eight of Swords. Yeah, they could have kept that to themselves, but they didn't. Also, this person kind of made you a little insecure from what they said, or this is you, Virgo. So be careful because I, you know, Virgo, you're not like the blunt sign, but you can be very blunt. Like I know a lot of Virgos. <laughs> Y'all can be very blunt. So I don't know if you're saying this to someone, but it's going to come off as very rude. So be careful or someone's doing this to you. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles is coming out. I'm getting it's you. You're the Queen of Swords, so you're coming off kind of bitchy. But if it's not you, then someone's doing this towards you and they're coming off like an asshole or a bitch, okay? What's the Queen of Pentacles? The Six of Cups. Okay, someone had good intentions. Also, someone had good intentions, right? The Ace of Cups is here. But it's kind of like, be careful of your words, Virgo, if this is you, especially if you're like a masculine Virgo. Or if this is the person, they need to be careful with their words because someone's expecting you guys to be able to move forward. Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups. But it's kind of like the Six of Cups in reverse. Like they're going to be left hanging or they're going to get ghosted by you. The Hermit card. Clarify the Hermit. 
It's like you want nothing to do with this person afterwards. I, I feel like someone's being very rude. Yeah, the Hierophant is here, okay? Ugh. And the King of Cups in reverse. So if you're dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, they're very rude about what they said or what they did towards you. They, they just could have sh shut the fuck up. They spoke too much. It could be a Pisces as well. Why am I getting Pisces? Doesn't have to be a Pisces, okay? But this person feels like you guys are still going to be committed and happy, the Hierophant, but you literally ghost them. Even if you're in a relationship with this person, um, Virgo, they better be careful because you will drop this person if they disrespect you. What's the Hierophant? This is taking a turn. What's the Hierophant, please? Okay, the Six of Pentacles, what goes around comes around, okay? So, yes, this person is generous. Yes, you were having a great time with this person, but if they come at you or say something really rude to you, that's going to piss you off. So, it's like what goes around comes around, the Six of Pentacles. So, what they dished out to you, you're going to dish out to them, and you might end up ghosting them. What's the King of Cups in reverse? Seven of Cups is here, okay? Hmm. This song by um is for tonight by Pop Smoke. It's like I'll tell you once, I'll tell you twice. Something, something. Like a thief in the night. So you really will like you told this person once, you told them twice, they keep fucking with you, you're gonna be like a thief in the night, you're gonna disappear. Yeah, King of Pentacles in reverse. Huh. This is very weird. So I don't know what this is. Also, whoever is saying this, I don't think they have bad intentions because this person is looking at you as their wish fulfillment, Virgo. This person is looking at you like very like happy that you guys have come this far into this relationship or almost being in this connection or whatever. But they, they instantly, as soon as you ghost them, lose their self-worth, which I'm sorry to say, but the King of Pentacles in reverse, King of Cups in reverse, they feel like really bad about this so they will get the message will get across the will of fortune this person will end up changing but i feel like you are gonna ghost this person or you're just gonna like fall off you know the earth for them or you're not gonna be speaking about them i mean speaking to them anymore at least for right now so mm, i don't know i don't even know if i want to post this reading because i have a lot of distractions i'm feeling very distracted right now but I'm going to post it because if I don't, then it won't get done. Okay? <laughs> I'm going to post it. I'm going to post it. All right. Let's see. I think I'm going to do Pisces after this one because you guys, Pisces is coming up for you. I mean, you could be dealing with Pisces. Maybe not. But a water sign is definitely coming up for you. All right. Let's see what's coming out. Last words, please. Last words for Virgo. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, this is taking a turn for sure. Anything else? Anything else? All right, bottom of the deck says Pisces. I knew it's a fucking Pisces. I keep getting that energy. I'm definitely going to do Pisces after this. I'm letting this go. Oh, I'm not letting this go. <laughs> so this Pisces doesn't want to let you go. We have struggling inside, okay? We have you make me sad. We have what is love, okay? So yeah, we have blocked. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm guys, I'm not really confident in this reading, but I am getting an energy where someone says something rude or disgusting, or they don't think before they speak. They offend the other person, and the, that person who's offended is going to definitely um, block the other person or just ghost them for a little bit. Yeah, breakup is here. Oh, Lord. We have gay. All right, when I, when that came out, okay, that can mean a lot of things, guys. But I'm going to call a spade a spade on this one. Like, maybe someone just keeps talking about your looks, Virgo. And it's like, okay, you really are judging my looks too harshly. Are, are, are you on the same team as me? Like, you could question this person's sexuality because they're always trying to tell you how to dress or how to wear your makeup. Like, I don't know. Mm -mm. All right, this one says you left something behind. So there is unfinished business between you guys. So... And this came out for Torn, I believe. But, um, sorry, my voice just cracked. But I feel like someone and you are going to make amends or at least come back around around each other, even if you're feeling like you despise this person right now. All right, Virgo, thank you so much for your time. I love you guys. Make sure to watch your other um chart, other chart signs, any signs that are in your chart that are highly aspected. If this message didn't come clear for you, but remember, it's a prediction. It may not have happened yet. All right, I love you guys. I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.